Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how are we today? We are back again with another video, but this one is a requested video of a young lady called Danielle McAllister. Kevin McAllister. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, so the video is called Why I Am Not Actively Trying to Lose Weight or Get Healthy. So, you know, first time obviously encountering this young lady stuff in particular, but this video has over 2.6 thousand, oh, sorry, over 2.6k dislikes and only 706, and it's only 761 likes. So whatever she says must be bloody terrible. But with that being said, though, let's um, waste no more, no more time. Let's give a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, including every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. So with that being said now, we're going to head over to this young lady's video and see what in the hell is happening here. Because goddamn. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, just in case you didn't know. Uh, now you do know. And this week's video... Today's video is going to be on a subject that I get a lot, asked a lot of questions about, and uh, so it's why I'm not actively trying to lose weight. Um, after my What I Eat in a Day video, which has close to 200,000 views for some reason, people are really fascinated in the food I eat. Um, I get asked a lot why I'm not actually trying to lose weight, why I am okay with being fat. So um, I'm just gonna give you my current list of reasons. Um, I'm sure that someone will just say they're all excuses and you can look at it like that. However, this is my reasoning and if you don't like it, don't stick around to watch. All right, let's get into it. So I- uh -huh. uh -huh. Girl came in with a disclaimer like that. I already know this is gonna be trouble. I mean, listen, despite the fact of the dislike to like ratio, even that statement itself alone says that you're basically just covering yourself up for your excuses. But okay, let's listen to what she's gotta say. I'm no stranger to dieting and trying to lose weight. I have been on a diet until, you know, recently, probably since I was 12, um, because I was a chunky kid. And so I was put on a diet pretty young. And I was told that I, you know, probably wouldn't um, you know, get very far in life because I was fat. And to be honest, for, you know, 15 plus years, every time I've eaten something and someone said, oh, are you allowed to eat that on your diet? Or you can't eat that, you're on a diet. Um, that has made me super touchy about food. It's also made me get very angry when someone tells me I can't eat something. It's more of a mentality of I'll show you and eat whatever the heck I want. And in fact, that made me really, really sick when I was dieting. Um, I did one of those like medical diets where you had to go in, give a urine sample every week. They test it to see if you were burning fat and they would take away your fruit. You weren't allowed to have oil in your skincare um because apparently the fat could be absorbed through your skin which oils are really good for your skin you couldn't have more than a tablespoon of milk i was a 16 -year -old. i have never heard of that one before what, what kind of diet is that oil into your skin what? what kind of doctor was she going to if anybody knows what she's referencing to here please do let me know because i haven't got a clue i ain't never heard that one in my life but okay okay teenager when I was doing this diet and um, one day I decided, you know what, I just really want some chicken nuggets. So I ate some chicken nuggets and I had a gallbladder attack and it was so bad that I almost got in a car accident. So that just tells you um, like how bad it was. That's one of my main reasons. I'm also very content with where whoa, my whoa, life- Whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. So she was on a diet. The diet wasn't good for her which then resulted in her having chicken nuggets, which therefore gave a big, big, big backlash. And because of this diet and the backlash, this is one of the reasons why she's not actively looking to lose weight or to get healthy. Let's, let's, let's continue, let's continue. Is right now, I don't feel like anything is missing from my life. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything because of my weight. And if I did, I would do something about it. I would make that drastic change. However, I really am not missing out at the weight I am currently. I do also have a lot okay, of- Okay, 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 okay. I, I need to know what she's not missing out. Give me a list. Give me a list of the things that you are not missing out on because they're really and truly like, it, should it really be about what you're missing out or should it be about, about your life in terms of your health? I mean, listen, we don't know what her breathing's like. We don't know what her sleeping is like, okay? We don't know how much energy she has on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? 
And most importantly, we don't know if she's been diagnosed with any kind of, not diagnosed, but like if she's been to doctors and had any kind of complications because of her weight. But even if she hasn't had none of those things, it doesn't mean that it's okay to be overweight. You know, just because you can still do things that you want to do when you're overweight, it doesn't mean it's a reason to still be overweight. Because the fact is, a lot of people forget this thing that when it comes to you being overweight, okay, the, the main negative about being overweight is just that your body is not healthy. It's just that simple, okay? Your bones, you know, you know your, your bones, obviously, you know, they, they have a lot of weight they can carry. You're putting a lot of pressure on, on your legs. You're putting a lot, of, a lot of pressure on your back. And if you're someone who's got large breasts as well, you're putting, them, them themselves are growing and putting more pressure on your back anyway, right? And then obviously with your neck, obviously the bigger your neck gets, the more lighter your breathing isn't going to be great, which then can lead up to have, having to use a, a CPAP machine, give or take, right? Something that is also used within the bodybuilding world itself, like bodybuilders that really blow, blow, blow up and their neck is just like, they have to use CPAP machines as well just to get good, good sleep. So even, even, even that is also a, a, a sign of like, whether you're overweight because of fat, you're overweight because of muscle, really and truly, when you're overweight, you're overweight and you're just not doing yourself any favors. Regardless of the fact that you can still do the things that you desire to do. But okay, okay. I guess it's not an excuse. I guess it's just her bizarre reason. But okay, just continue. Things going on in my life. Changing your lifestyle to the point where you're losing dramatic amounts of weight and completely changing your eating and exercising habits takes a lot of work. And that's a lot of time to put in that I just don't have at the moment. <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me hear that again. Let me hear that again. Let me hear this again. Uh, uh-huh. You're losing dramatic amounts of weight and completely going on in my life. Changing your lifestyle to the point where you're losing dramatic amounts of weight and completely changing your eating and exercising habits takes a lot of work. And that's a lot of time to put in that I just don't have at the moment. So she hasn't got time at the moment, okay, to put the work in to better her life, her health, her um, um, in, in terms of, you know, the fact that the less, the more health, the more healthy you are, there's a, there's a higher possibility you're going to live for a longer period of time, right? But she hasn't got the time to put in the work to lose the weight, but she has the time to maintain or if not get bigger and continue harming her body. Okay, then. Priorities. It's clearly priorities, isn't it? But okay. And this is a woman that's been trying to diet since she was a very young age. Now, obviously, at the young age when she was dieting, that could have been down to her parents doing that for her. I don't know. But either way, she's now an adult. She's had all the experience of being forced to diet, per se, okay, and to going through the challenging part of dieting, right? But now she's an adult. So what happens as a child now is kind of not irrelevant. It's there, but it's traumatic. But once you're an adult, you have to reflect on what's happened to you as a child to see how you can use those tools to better you going forward. Not use those tools to then elevate them as an excuse of why you should be, why you should just continue not looking after your body. But okay then, each is their own. I practically work two full-time jobs right now with my nine to five job and then my side hustle, which I spend a lot of time on. And you know, it's interesting because I mean, here's the thing, right? Right now I work full-time and I do YouTube and I go to the gym. In fact, let me give you my time schedule, okay? So I want my job itself in particular, okay? I work from uh, I work from half eight all the way to half four, okay? So that's my job on a day-to-day -day basis. After that, I then head over to the gym. I get to the gym for around about five. I'm in the gym for a good, what, two hours, okay? If Give or take, maybe an hour and a half. So from five to pretty much half six, seven, I'm in the gym. I then get home. I get home, I shower, and I, th I then obviously have to, what do you call it? I get home, I shower, whatever, right? And then after that, I've got, I got three channels to, 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 to upload, right? One of the channels I upload once or twice a week, which is fantastic. But then I've got a hip hop fan channel that I have to then come home from about eight, nine odds. I have to make a video and upload then. And then from that moment in time, then I have to make a video for this channel as well as then potentially going live as well. But hey, it's okay though. Somehow I'm able to time manage myself and keep doing what I need to do to keep progressing my life in terms of my career and also in terms of my health. But with this young lady here, she's got a nine to five job with a side hustle, which therefore prevents her from not even going, which therefore prevents her, not necessarily, not necessarily not going to the gym, but prevents her from just eating healthier. I mean, listen, as far as I'm concerned, going to the gym is way much more time consuming than actually eating some healthy food. But each is of their own, let's continue. And let's, let's not forget though, throughout this daytime, she's got the nine to five, I'm pretty sure she's walking, right? And if she's eating within a calorie deficit, as someone says, the calorie isn't, cal calories in, calories out. 
But okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Don't have the extra time or brain power really to put in to counting calories or, you know, specifically shopping. She said brain power. <laughs> okay. Bring for groceries and things like that. I just don't have it. Um, I would like to um, go to Aquafit more. Uh, it's just there's nowhere close to my house that offers an Aquafit at a time that fits with my work schedule. So it makes it really difficult to work out the way I feel most comfortable. I've told you guys this before, I am a super picky eater, to the point that if I'm forced to eat something I don't like, for whatever reason, I will gag. I cannot swallow something that has a strange texture to me. If it smells weird, I can't swallow it. I will throw it back up. And it makes eating healthy quite difficult. I have a serious issue with a lot of cooked food textures, as well as other things like um, broccoli. I can't eat broccoli in any way, shape, or form because of the smell. Same with cauliflower and a lot of other vegetables. Um, as well, if the food is too boring or I can't dip it in something, I likely am going to become really bored and just stop eating it altogether. And so basically your cooking skills are just shocking. In fact, your creativity is just boring because yo, I don't eat broccoli, newsflash. I don't eat cauliflower, newsflash. In fact, I don't eat many vegetables, you know what I'm saying, newsflash. But what I do eat is, you know, obviously I have my I have my lettuce ever on a daily basis, but as well as my cucumbers and my tomatoes, okay? Then I have my onions and my peppers on a daily basis. And then I'll have those things mixed up with some, I don't know whether that be mackerel or salmon, okay? Seasoned up for this, seasoned up, so therefore it is tasty and it is not boring, okay? And then let's not forget, you do have the odd treat here and there of whether it be a mango or banana okay or maybe a low a low calorie cake i mean like um you know low calorie smoothie or whatever it could be so really and truly i really hate this stigma that eating healthy is boring that is the biggest bs that i've ever heard in my life eating be eating healthy is not boring if you have a creative mind to spice up your food the way you should do or a creative mind to balance out your health eating with your with your treats treats it's not boring it's far from it but okay clearly she likes the creativity to want to want to try and actually see this is the thing right yeah all you've got to do is put in front of you the foods that you like okay and the foods that you don't like now you then see the foods that you do like with the and, and now when you when you but then also you put the foods that you do like that are predominantly healthy right you put them in front of you and you say okay cool maybe i can make a meal plan like these things but let's say obviously there's not many things there that you like that are healthy and more or less and the more them are healthy well to be honest with you you're just gonna have to just still give it a try. Keep trying every single thing under the freaking sun. Listen, man, end of the day, you know, just because someone is healthy, it doesn't mean that the eating lifestyle is perfect. That is just the honest truth. Because not, not my, my eating lifestyle may not work for yourself, right? Your one might not work for me. You see what I'm saying? Everybody's different. It's about training your body to understand which food it actually likes and which food it works for them. And also your taste buds will be a part of that. I don't, listen, man, this woman's actually, she's, this is a mess. But let's continue and find something else that I find more interesting. Now, I do know that I should eat better than I do, and I have seen dietitians, and I know exactly what I should be eating in order to lose weight or have a better and more balanced diet. However, I find those foods really boring and not interesting to eat, so I don't eat them. And So yeah. fine alternatives. Just because a dietitian gives you something, it doesn't mean you have to stick with it, okay? It means that, okay, this is what I think you should be eating, but if it's not what you want, then can you find an alternative to what could be equivalent to what this thing is? Or can you take the foods that they've given you and then spice them up to your own qualities? You see what I'm saying? If you spice them up, you might be like, you know what, damn. It's like, listen, I could take a cucumber today and a cucumber, I could have it plain, but obviously I'm going to get bored of it real quick if I have it plain. So if I take a cucumber and then I, I don't know, sprinkle some salt or sprinkle some, some jerk season or whatever, I'm going to be like, I'm going to eat it, but it's, it's got some sprinkle on it. It's, it's, it's a terrible example, but I'm just saying you can do that, right? You could take... um. Salmon, for example, you can eat salmon just the way it is without no seasoning or whatever. And you might be like, okay, I like it. But then if you season it up, you're going to be like, oh, I like this even more. It's like chicken. Who eats chicken without no seasoning? Dry chicken is, I mean, listen, I haven't, obviously I don't eat chicken anymore, right? But like, I could never, ever eat chicken just dry. It would have to be seasoned up. And she cannot tell me that she does not like chicken. I mean, unless she's obviously someone who doesn't eat meat, then it's a different conversation. Or a steak, for example. You can see, you know, why am I, why am I, why am I giving someone a lecture on how to season up your food, though? Come on. Really and truly, this is straight up excuses and laziness of thinking of ways to spice up your food. And if it's that hard, why don't you just buy a cookbook? You know what I mean? They may have given, they may have ideas that you may have better ideas for you. Or better yet, YouTube has so many recipes on it. Or if you want to, you can also become a member of this channel. And then on top of that, you come on Discord and then we have our own recipes page on Discord and you can learn things for yourself there too. But anyway, let's keep going. Each is of their own. I'm so bored by a salad that I'm going to only eat half of it and then go get a hamburger instead. 
I mean, what's the point? I also have this sort of like inner rebel that basically says that I don't have to do what other people are telling me I should be doing as a real adult or a real person. Um, society says that I should be thin and my inner heart is basically saying, you don't have to be thin. You don't have to, you know, um, go with the flow of society. You can do whatever you want. And that is true. You don't have to be thin, but you gotta be healthy at least. Hurting anyone except myself if I were to be affecting my health, which at this moment in time, I am not. But if it did come to that point where it was affecting my health, then I would do something about it. I just, just not, and I don't care that much right now. Fast food and eating poorly is really the only thing in my life that I do um, that is sort of off, I guess. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs, I don't hook up with people. Um, I don't. That one doesn't really count because, you know what, to be honest, you can do what you want. But I don't take in any other vices that could be harmful to my health. And so this is pretty much the only vice I have that is fast food and probably reading naughty books. So I think I'm pretty, pretty good there. My final reason really for not actively trying to lose weight right now at this moment in time is I truly deep down in my heart believe that I will not be any happier than I am right at this moment if I were to lose weight, if I were to lose 50 pounds tomorrow or gradually lose 100 over the next year. I don't really believe that I would be happier at a smaller size or a lower weight than I am You know, right listen, listen, I, I, I can agree with that one to a certain degree, but this is the thing though. Losing weight for me isn't about being happier um, necessarily like, I don't know, externally about within your appearance, losing weight for me, or it just, it just health eating, forget losing weight, health eating. Health eating is about how your body feels. You know what I mean? Okay. You may not be happier. She may be happy mentally being, obviously, be, being, be, being plus size. And she may be, un she may be unhappy being plus size. And she may be unhappy being slim. She may be happy being plus size and also being happy slim. But the fact is though, it's not really about whether you're going to be happy or not per se. Being happy is just a bonus. The main objective is making sure that your body is in a healthy state. That is the objective. You know, and I feel like sometimes people, th when they think about dieting or they think about losing weight or they think about going into a position where their body is going to be in a healthier state, they forget that it's all about health and allowing your life to live as long as possible. And also hopefully preventing yourself from any complications that could come from being overweight. Okay. Being happy is more of a, like, it's, it's, it's a different, it's a mentality thing, you know what I mean? It's the mentality thing of something else, you know what I mean? Like, yo, I am not, I wouldn't say that I'm happy just because I'm in shape, no. I'm happy because of the things that I have happening around me. But at the same time, though, the bonus is that I'm able to do the things around me, knowing that, or at least feeling like my body is in a healthy state. Do you see what I'm saying? Right now, I love my life the way it is. Yes, I'm actively trying to make changes in it. However, that's the part I love. I'm living my life, I'm getting things done, I'm growing my business, I'm spending time with my family, I'm working towards my goals, and those are all things that everybody else does. Just because I weigh a larger amount than most of the population does not mean that I'm a lesser human being. That's actually wrong though. She said, just because I weigh more than the, than the most of the population, just, 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 just a fun fact. There are more overweight people in the world than there are fit people, just saying. And that I can only be accepted at a size 12 or less. So those are my reasons for not actively trying to lose weight at this present moment in time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you coming back time and time again. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I mean, I gotta tell you this now, only 761 people liked it. The rest of them, the rest of the 2.6K, they disliked it. And um, I can see why, you know what I mean? I can see why for sure, for sure. And you know what though? I'm, 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 in, I'm in complete just disbelief. And you know what, though, this video itself in particular was actually t three years ago, it was 2018. And as I look at her page, it seems to me that uh, ain't nothing changed. She's still in the same position that she was. And it's crazy because she clearly said uh, things that you experience that you don't. Ooh, oh, OK, this is an interesting one. A part two is a part one. But either way, the thing that she doesn't necessarily realize or recognize here at this moment in time no, 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 no. The, the thing that's fascinating is that she said three years ago that she didn't have the time to lose weight. Three years later on, what's changed? I mean, listen, at the end of the day, you know, we are who we are and it is up to us to choose how we want to live our lives and how we want to, you know, do whatever. But at the same time, though, when you're spreading that message, other people and they've been influenced, that just ain't cool. But anyway, it is what it is, you know what I mean? I really hope that at some point in her life, she can actually, you know, have a light bulb that says, hey, you know what? I've lived a long enough life now, I've been overweight, and I haven't really minded it because I've been happy with that. But maybe it's time that I kind of, if I get the ego of me being happy and kind of put into place that maybe that my body physically really and truly 
isn't happy and I need to do something better for my body. You know what I mean? Because there's a fine line between your body being happy, but there's a fine line between you being happy compared to your body being happy. And that's just the honest truth. And that goes for people who are also bodybuilders and 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 and, and uh, um, um powerlifters, more or less powerlifters than anything else. Massive bodies, man. Super strength, but massive, massive, massive bodies. You see that once they retire, some of them end up losing that weight because they know it's not good for them. But nonetheless, though, you let me know what you're thinking in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you lovely people in the comment section. We are done and we are out. Peace.